Hey guys, my name is Weston. How are you doing today? Just want to take time to welcome you guys back to the channel. We've got something special planned for today. See that back there? For those of you that know, that is my 95 Power Stroke. And for those of you that don't, well, go back and watch my other couple videos on my channel about this truck. That way you got some backstory. But basically, long story short, I bought this thing for $1,000 at an auction a few years ago. It's a crew cab long bed 95 Power Stroke with an automatic transmission in it. And she's got some things we need to fix. We've had bad weather here in Kansas, which is like saying water is wet and Chicago is windy. But I don't get why they call Chicago the Windy City. They ought to call Wichita the Windy City. So we had a couple thunderstorms roll through last night. Have had a bunch of rain. And I opened the garage door this morning and there was two inches of standing water in the garage. But you know what? That's all right. That means I just don't got to sweep anymore. I can just let the water just wash out all the dirt. So guys, if you watched my last video on the 2010 F350, the Cummins conversion we're doing, you will know we're doing a hat giveaway. If you want to win a hat, all the details will be down in the description of this video. And either you can win it on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. We're going to give away five hats on each platform. So there's three different ways to win five hats on each different platform i don't think there's many people on facebook so if you guys just wanted to win a hat i think your chances might be a little bit better over on facebook or instagram there's a lot of people on youtube hit us up over there we're going to dive into this video and try to get this truck finished brief recap on what this truck needs now she's beautiful i know that and you guys know that too but i did have a blowout with this back tire down here and when i did it ripped the exhaust off and ripped it off all of its hangers and it's not even hooked up underneath, so it's kind of loud and smoke pours out from underneath the bed when you lean into it. So we do need to fix that. I'll just show you guys. See what it is, is this exhaust is mighty adjustable. See, you don't like it down that low, you lift it up a little bit. A jingle exhaust is what they call it. Old Santa Claus ought to get one for his sleigh. We finally got an exhaust back for it, and it's in the back seat of the truck over there. We need to unbox that. It's here. That teleportation took a little bit more work. All right, guys, this here is our exhaust. That or a dead body was heavy enough. I won't be so mad if they just sent me a box of bricks. Now, for those of you that go through the really intact and uh, best way of unboxing stuff, that's not me. It's just, you grab a seam and you start ripping. Let her rip. All right, let's see here. It looks big. It looks beautiful. Ooh, look, there's a muffler. I thought this was a straight pipe. Damn, the thing's dented. That's a resonator, actually. That's not even a muffler. My pipe's bigger than yours. <laughs> look at it. It's so big. <laughs> but no, as you can see, it's a just a straight through resonator. They ought to use this for the telescope. But it is damaged. We are going to have to take pipe wrench and straighten that back out. But that, we can fix that. All right. This looks like our pipe that goes up over the top of the axle. Yep, that's what looks like what that is. That looks about right. Made in Canada. It was made with politeness. I can even still smell the maple syrup. I think this is a three inch down pipe to a four inch exhaust and then we got a five inch chrome tip we're gonna put on it. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna sound great. I mean, it's gonna sound like a mean SOB. I can't wait to hear it. Well guys, we got the old power stroke pulled in the shop here. And look at her, she looks beautiful. She looks shiny. Now. I misspoke when I said earlier that the shop flooded this morning. It was actually yesterday morning, and I, I don't know, I had a brain fart or something, but we squeegeed most of the water out, but there still is a lot of standing water in here. But that's all right. Most of it dried up, and the rest of it will probably dry up while we're working on this. We've got our nice, shiny, new exhaust parts. I don't know what to do with new parts. I've never had new stuff. They must know the channel, and they must know me because they sent me some with a dent in it, but that's okay. We like dented things. Just because it's dented doesn't mean it's bad. We can straighten that out. It'll be good as new. It'll be like brand new. What the heck? That dinger's never worked. Huh, that's strange. So what's going to be hard, which we just pulled it in here so that exhaust is going to be hot anyway, is that downpipe right there that's coming off the back of the turbo, which is that part right there. 
it looks like a big cobra head is what they call it and it goes down it smushes flat in between the firewall and the back of the engine so that's going to be kind of a pain to get in there and get the new one on i think we might have to do a little bit of massaging to the back of the firewall but we're gonna see um there ain't nothing to it just to do it so so guys we got under here we i don't know how much you're going to be able to see under here or not but right back there is where the exhaust broke that is when it got sucked underneath that tire it bent it up and broke it off right there and i figured while we're at it we might as well just put a new exhaust on it i probably wouldn't even mess with the exhaust if it hadn't broke like this but you know we had to give old excalibur the love and tender tender love and care that she wants and needs now it's got a big cadillac converter right there we'll have to pull that i don't know if that's a cadillac converter or what it is but anyway um this is what i was talking about with that downpipe now if you can't see this downpipe let me touch it is it hot Nah, it's not bad. This downpipe is dang near flat. I mean, you can see my hand right there. You know, it's restrictive. It keeps high EGTs. It's just, it's really not that good a thing for the truck. The Basically, the reason they put it this way is so they didn't have no problem with it fitting against the cab, against the motor. So what we're going to have to do is figure out how to get this downpipe out. I know the last one we took out, we had to take and cut it out with a Zaza and then pull it out the top. And it was a pain to ever get the new downpipe back in here. But we'll see. I don't know how hard it'll be or not. I think it'll be okay. We won't know until we get started on it at least. Why don't you try this tool? Oh yeah. That's a massive breaker bar. This goes a lot faster with friends. All right, roll out of there, Dom. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. It's a uh, be free. <laughs> be free, down by be free. Well, after we got the exhaust and uh, what's left of the downpipe, we got it out without cutting it, amazingly. Anyway, we got her out. Now we just gotta take and see if our new downpipe will fit. I, we bent it back the firewall just a little bit, but we're gonna have to see how that downpipe's gonna fit. Come on. Oh, hallelujah, 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 la la la. That's did it awesome. Did right down in there? It did. Putting that exhaust clamp on there. <clears throat> Turbo clamp. The... Perfect. Now we need to get our rest of our downpipe. That's a two piece downpipe. So we got the top part on, got the clamp on. I don't know how to read anyway, so I don't know if instruction is going to do us any good. I think this pipe looks like it should fit. Does it fit? Oh, you all right? Yep. Is that your thumb? Yep. I didn't feel nothing. Well guys, we took and we got most of it on. Now that it's out, you can kind of see what I'm talking about, about this downpipe being like a Cobra head. Thing. Like, it's real fat right there where it turns up the turbo, then it gets real skinny. All the way down, that's to fit with the firewall. We realized a lot of our clamps are missing. We don't have, we're missing actually three of our exhaust clamps that was supposed to be in the kit and two band clamps. So I've got to run town and get some parts for that. And we'll also, I need to charge my Zaza because we need to cut, I believe 11 inches is what I measured out of one of the pipes to make the resonator fit in a way. Ta-da! Cut off. Look at that. It's like brand new. All right, so now we take her. Rusty, trusty. I guess I can't call it rusty and trusty. It's shiny new muffler that I probably just dented. Well guys, we have got the exhaust on. It is completely bolted up, completely done. I'm getting ready to shut the hood and we're gonna pull it out and see what she sounds like.
Well guys, we got the feet warmer installed on the old 7.3. And some of you might be wondering, well when it gets cold up here in Kansas, we fire up the old truck and stand back here and it'll warm up our feet. At least that's kind of my plan. Anyway, I had to go inside and take a shower because I was covered in grease from head to toe. But we got the exhaust on. She does need adjusted a little bit. She is hanging a little bit low, but that's okay. She is done for the most part. I know what you've all been waiting for, and I know what you guys are wanting now. You want to hear it. You want to hear how wonderful it sounds. How much of a beast she is. Well, hold on to your britches. We're getting ready to show you. Bro. All right, guys. Here we go. 7.3 liter sound test number one. Are you all ready to hear all these donkeys be unleashed? Fire it up! Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It sounds good. It sounds good. Well, guys, that is a recap on the 7.3 liter. Today was a video about the 7.3. Uh, we finally got around, got the exhaust put on it, and we needed to get that done so the truck didn't catch fire or something from the exhaust being dumped just right underneath the bed. There wasn't really nothing that was going to mess up, but you never know how them things go. Now, we got everything put on, but there was a couple issues. For one, we didn't have all the hardware that came in our kit. Uh, some clamps were missing, some hangers were missing, so I had to fabricate some stuff. And I've still got to do a little bit of adjusting on the exhaust that's hanging a little bit low, and I want to set a little bit higher. But that is a story for a different day when I get a little bit of time to get around to do that. That being said, I've got a lot of plans for the 7.3. I don't really got the time to sit here and tell you all my plans because we'd be here all afternoon. But I do have some plans for it, so stay tuned and you'll see what's going to happen with the 7.3. I do thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you hit that like button if you like the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and comment down below what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you tune in next time. We might have something neat for you to see. See ya.